Hi everyone, my name is Vivek Mohan, current second year I am resident at Montefiore. Today, I will be talking about lifestyle changes if you have metabolic dysfunction associated steatotic liver disease, also known as MASLD. This disease used to be formerly known as NASH. This disease occurs when you have excessive fat stored in your liver and it's causing damage to it, and it's not due to alcohol. So what puts you at risk? Having obesity, type 2 diabetes, high triglyceride levels, which is part of your cholesterol, and metabolic syndrome which is a combination of three or more of the following. Obesity, high blood pressure, low HDL, or high triglycerides, and diabetes. What can we do if we have this condition? There's a lot of lifestyle changes that we can make to help control it, such as not eating late at night, so it's advisable not to eat food after 7 p.m. Also, it's still important to have three meals a day, but definitely keep those portion sizes small. It's also important to limit your sugars and red meat. Diet control and portion control are the biggest changes we can make, so let's look into that more. If we look at the middle, we see this food pyramid here. This food pyramid here is of the Mediterranean diet, which is a great diet if you have muscled. The bottom two rows of the pyramid show us what we should eat daily, which are fruits, vegetables, grain, bread, and beans. The next two show us what we can have in variable amounts, which is olive oil, fish, and seafood. The row above that shows us what we should have weekly, or maybe two to three times in a week, which are egg, cheese, and poultry. And the topmost row shows us what to have just a few times in a month, and definitely not weekly, and in very small amounts, which is meat and sweets. <clears throat> the table below also shows us foods that are good and bad to eat. If we see, monosaturated fats and polyunsaturated fats are good for us. What does that include? Monosaturated fats includes olive, canola, and peanuts and polyunsaturated fats include walnuts, fish, corn oil, soybean oil, and sunflower seeds. Aside from diet, portion control is also very important. It is hard to always weigh out your food, but here are some easy ways to calculate macros. It's always important to have a low carb diet and moderate amount of fat, which is also consistent with the Mediterranean diet. Some easy tips are one hand size, about the size of your palm, is about 40 grams of protein which is very good for your diet. One fist, about this size, is one to 15 grams of carbs. Remember to keep those lower in quantity. One thumb, along the length, is 10 grams of fat. And one cupped hand, just like this, is about 20 grams of carbs, which again, we wanna have a low carb and moderate amount of fat in our diet. With the use of these tips and diet control, we can help control our muscle and keep our liver function as healthy as we can. Hopefully these tips will help you throughout your journey. Thank you.